Carlos Alcaraz, ranked world number one in tennis men's singles in 2023, won 12 ATP titles, including two Grand Slam titles, and he is only 20 years old. A new tennis player superstar has arrived. I was so drawn to his journey. How did he get there? Where will he be playing next? I was intrigued to find out more. So I went to Cincinnati to see him play in person, to witness the flair that he brings to tennis court and tennis history. Watching him on tennis court was also what inspired me to make this video. You see, Alcaraz told his story through tennis. What about our stories? How do we tell the stories of our design work? As a designer so far, you must have heard somebody saying, You should tell a story on your portfolio. I'm sure you know that you should tell a story, that you know the stories are effective and powerful. But many times you might have the same reaction as me. Yeah, but how? The many YouTube videos, lectures, and masterclasses teaching us how to tell a story. Choose a center message. Engage with your audience. You got it, right? But if you're like me, you might feel like... Yeah, I, I know, but how? That's absolutely normal and I think that's totally fine because the world is flooded with all these true yet vague messages, they're just not concrete enough. Therefore in this video I want to share with you what I have learned about storytelling. I'll walk you through 5 presentation examples so you get to know what storytelling is and how stories can be told. If you want to elevate your portfolio presentation, your on-site interview with better storytelling, if you're ready for the bonus content, then grab your favorite drink and let's get into it. Yo. Good morning everyone, my name is Justine, I'm a designer working in Silicon Valley. Just as a heads up, I can't fit everything in a presentation and do it 5 times in 15 minutes. So all examples will be centering around one thing, presenting a problem statement. Essentially, you will see me presenting the exact same problem statement, but in five different styles. So here we go. First example in three, two, one, action. Good morning, everyone. My name is Justine. I'm a product designer, and I'm here today to present one of my favorite projects, Project Shadow, that helps make outdoor tennis tournament comfortable to watch. When people go to outdoor tennis tournaments, it can be very sunny and very hot, which makes it not very comfortable to watch. So how can we design something for those people, for the tennis tournament attendees, sitting in torching sun and blazing heat? So that's the first example of how you can present a problem statement. Let's go to example number two. In three, two, one, action. Good morning everyone, my name is Justine, I'm a product designer and I'm here today to present one of my favorite projects, Project Shadow, that helps make outdoor tennis tournaments comfortable to watch. I would like to have everybody take a look at this photo that I took when I went to the tournament. Blue sky, no cloud, people are wearing hats, sunglasses, chugging water at the bottom right corner, they're fanning. How do you feel when you look at this? More importantly, how do those people in a photo feel? Hot, very hot. So how may we design something for them, for those who are enduring the heat? So here I think there's an opportunity to address those pain points. How can we design something for tennis tournament attendees in torching sun and blazing heat? And that's presentation example number two. Let's go to the next one. Example three. In three, two, one, action. Good morning, everyone. My name is Justine. I'm a product designer and I'm here today to present one of my favorite projects, Project Shadow, that helps make outdoor tennis tournament comfortable to watch. I would like to start by sharing a video that I took. It's a huge outdoor stadium with blue sky in the background. Notice what the audience are doing. They're wearing hats, they're fanning, they are sitting in the sun. It's very hot, it's super dry, it's quite sunny. How can we design something for the tennis tournament attendees in torching sun and blazing heat? That's presentation example number three. Example number four. In three, two, one, action. Good morning everyone, my name is Justine. I'm a product designer and I'm here today to present one of my favorite projects. Project 
shadow. I would like to start by sharing the video I took. What do you see? It's a tennis tournament, right? It's a huge stadium, a lot of people. It's blue sky in the background. All correct. Great observation. Let's speed up a little bit. Now, what do we see? Notice that little movement? Yeah, these people are fanning crazy. They are fanning hard. They're fanning so hard because it's very sunny. It's very hot, super dry. They're drenched in sweat watching this tournament outdoor. This is, of course, not ideal. You can feel the heat coming off the concrete ground. So here I think there's an opportunity to address those pain points. How can we design for tennis tournament attendees in torching sun and blazing heat? That's example number four. And here we go to the last one. Example number five. In three, two, one, action. Good morning, everyone. My name is Justine. I'm a product designer, and I'm here today to present one of my favorite projects. Project Shadow. Before we start, I want to take you with me to a tennis tournament that I went to in person last week. It was the women's final match between Coco Gaff and Carolina Mochova. That was a great point. It was truly a great rally. It was a 25-shot rally. While most of the attention goes to the center court, actually, I want to zoom out a little bit and look at the surroundings. Most of these people are sitting right in the sun throughout this 40-second rally. It was torching hot, 85 degrees outside, meaning they are sitting in 85 degrees for the entire 40 seconds. That was brutal for the audience. It doesn't stop there because there are many, many more of these 40 seconds. I can't help but wonder, how can we design something for these people? What can we do as designers so here, I think there's an opportunity to address, to eliminate some of these pain points. How can we design for tennis tournament attendees in torching sun and blazing heat? And that concludes the fifth and also the last one. To recap all of the presentation styles I've just presented at a high level, there are five of them in total. The first one is just the problem statements on its own. The second one is an image and then a problem statement. And then the third one is just the video. There's no text anywhere talking about a statement. The fourth one starts with a video and a modified version of the same video. It was sped up 4x speed. The last one is one long video playing throughout with problem statement in text in the end. So seeing all five examples, all five styles, here are some questions that I have for you guys to think about. Which presentation do you like better as an audience? Which one do you feel like that has a better story? Which one hooks you more? Which one make you feel like you want to keep listening to me? Leave a comment down below and feel free to rewind and take a closer look. Pay attention to what I said and how my talking connects to the slide on screen. There are virtually infinite ways to tell the same story. Just like how I explain the same problem statement in five different ways. I hope those examples are useful for you to get a better grip of what storytelling is and maybe start using some of those elements to make your presentation better, to leave a great impression and to land your dream job. Last but not least, I know you've all been waiting for this bonus content. Bonus content. My Justine 15 Discord channel is finally live. It's free to join for now, so come say hi, ask me some questions, and support each other in UX design. Come join today, I will leave the link in the description box down below. Click, click, good to go. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support this very small channel. There's a lot more UX and finance content that help you advance your design career 
and accumulate wealth. From U.S. portfolio to resume to investing, option trading. Take a look, see what piques your interest. I will see you all in the next video. Cheers.